This is an Arizona's Family News Update. Good morning, Arizona. I'm Javier Soto here. The latest stories we're following from the Arizona's Family Newsroom. A little girl was found dead in a car this morning. It happened in Phoenix near the I-17 in Thunderbird. According to police, 23-year-old Tiana Jones reported her three-year-old daughter Delilah missing 430 last night. Officers later found that little girl in Jones's car. Delilah was rushed to the hospital where she was pronounced dead. Investigators say Jones was asleep when Delilah walked out of the house and got into the car. Jones was arrested and the investigation is ongoing. Fire crews say lightning is to blame for a house fire last night. They say lightning hit a home near Litchfield and Camelback. The owner says the fire started somewhere in the upstairs fireplace. The fire crews were able to put out the flames quickly. Thankfully, nobody was hurt. Police are investigating after a body was found in a mobile home fire. It happened near 19th Avenue and Greenway earlier this morning. Investigators say that there was a man who was found dead inside that mobile home. They're now looking into the cause of the fire and how that man died. We've learned a crash is now linked to street racing, and this crash comes as we get new numbers about how these racers are taking over the valley streets. In this latest crash, three people were taken to the hospital. Police say there were two cars involved and appeared to be racing down Buckeye, a problem that is not new on the west side. The Glendale Police Department recently reactivated a street racing task force to try to clamp down on Sunday night street takeovers. They also say they've uh, taken to, to social media to warn and post mugshots of the alleged street racers to try and de deter them from racing again. Although this is Phoenix and not Glendale, according to police, these racers jump towns when they feel authorities are closing in on them. We're going for a high of 100 degrees today with a slight chance for storms later today, slightly better chance tomorrow and a high of just 99 degrees. We've got a big warm up coming our way by the end of the week. All right, we'll take those double digits while we have them. Thank you, April. For updates and more stories, all you have to do is download the Arizona's Family News app and make sure you subscribe on our YouTube and Roku channels. I'm Javier Soto. Have a great day.